Hello everybody. I'm just starting to want to share a little bit of uh, what I do here in this bullet making business I'm doing. Not really a business, you know. But anyway, I'm going to sit out here and I'm going to, the first step in the bullet making process is to melt down the old bullets. I got a bucket full of bullets that I dug up at the range the other day and now I got them out here in my cast iron pot and uh, I'm going to light it up and I'm going to sit here and the, uh, the uh, lead will melt out of the bullets. I had to bust a bunch of them open. A lot of them are open on the bottom or the top or something, but the ones that were sealed all the way around, I had to uh, you know, take a pair of pliers and bust them open. But this stuff will all leak out. It's pretty cool. Right now I'm lighting the fire. It's lit. It's going to take a while. I just wanted to give you a little show. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll turn the camera off and on, off and on. Try to not make it too long, but right now this is probably going to take it like a half an hour or whatever, 20 minutes to start melting. And I'll, I'll bring you back for the uh, next step. See you around. All right. <clears throat> It's starting to melt. Let me dig out some of these ones here on top. I'll try to show you some of the molten metal. See the molten metal down there? So now these are all just starting to melt. The lead's coming out of the middle of them. Once I'm pretty sure I got it all melted out, then I'll start digging the trash. The trash will all stay on the top, <clears throat> and I'll dig it out. So right now I'm just going to kind of stir it up. Get it all melted. But so far, so good. All right, hey, we're back again. Now, all the lead has melted out of the bullets. You can see all this stuff floating on top. That's just the, um, you know, the lead ja or the uh, copper jackets and stuff like that. But it's hot enough now where it all melted out. So this step here, I'm just going to scoop them out, like so. And my spoon that I'm using, it's got holes in it, so it's just. You know, I'm kind of draining them best I can and just dump it in my little pan here. Just keep doing that. You lose a little bit of the stuff here, but uh, I get most of it. I can see looking at it, there's a little bit of stuff I lose inside the bullets, but for the most part it's out of them. And what I'm going to do when I get this all out, I'm going to put another batch right on top here and melt it in with it. And like I started out the other day when I brought it home, I got it all cleaned up and all that. I put it in the bucket and I weighed it. I had 130 pounds of bullets. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, anyway, when I got done melting these all down, I'll end up with somewhere around 100 pounds of, uh, just, you know, maybe 90 pounds of pure lead made, left over for making bullets. I think my heat's up a little high now. I gotta turn it down a little. It's ways down. That's yeah, too high now. I gotta turn it down. All right. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I also melt down. I go around to the tire stores and I get. Uh, the used wheel weights to come off of cars, you know, when they get new tires and all that. I get down there, and they're a lot easier to do than bullets, but hey, this is free. I'm making three bullets here. 
So I gotta do a little work, gotta do a little work. Scooping it. Alright, well I'll turn it off now, I'll bring it back here in a minute. Alright, see here, this is pure lead here. This is liquid lead right there. All the stuff came out of the bullets. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding some uh, some more. I'm just gonna kinda dump my bucket over here and make it easier. I'm gonna take my shovel and start sh shoveling some in there. And the process will be repeated over and over again. I gotta be careful not to splash. I've, I've learned to wear uh, shoes while I do this because uh, I've burnt the hell out of my feet doing this. You see what I'm doing? I'm just filling it back up. And I'm going to repeat the cycle. I'll let you go. All right, we're back. I got a whole bunch of melted lead in there right now. And uh, you know, I'm probably about a third way through what I got to do. But the next step here is called uh, fluxing. And, and fluxing is basically you purify the lead. It digs out a lot of stuff. So you use sawdust, which I'm putting a little bit of sawdust here in it. And that may or may not catch on fire, but you also use a little wax. Just plain old paraffin wax. I almost guarantee that's going to light up. And I'm just... I'm not a scientist, don't know how it works, I just know it does. And I'm getting ready to start, once I get it cleaned up, pouring the ingots. And the ingots I put in these muffin pans, see it fired up there. I just ladle it out, put it in these muffin pans. As soon as this fire goes out, I'll stir that stuff up and take the last of the garbage out of it. Put my glove back on because it's going to be hot in there. That's just that uh, wax burning off and turning into uh, carbon. And the same thing with the wood, and somehow it makes all the dirt and other impurities uh, uh, come out of the lead. I'll kind of stir it in, and it'll float to the top. And you'll uh, see that here in a minute. The fire goes out. I'm going to be a little impatient. I'm going to just start stirring it in now. See that beautiful, pure-looking lead under there? Just scrape the sides, try to get all the smegma to stuff to the sides and the bottom. A lot of lead, huh? It's going to make a lot of bullets. You had to get it cleaned up first, so. Right, let's see if I can start getting some of that garbage out of there. I believe this stuff's called dross. That might be wrong. Sometimes I get the terms mixed up. Clean it up. And I'll probably flux it one more time here. I think it's probably a good idea to do it one more time. It's kind of dirty still. It's not bad, actually. I won't do as much. I'll just put a little bit of uh, sawdust in there. Just a little sprinkle. Maybe a little bit there. Let that carbonize again. One last stir up and we'll be ready to start making ingots. That's the fun stuff. To me anyway. Right, get me a little piece of wax and throw it in there. That's a nice piece right there.
trying a lot not to make these little episodes go too long. But I want to let you see it too. Let burn that stuff off. Stir it. And I'll show you making a few ingots. The people look crazy. Stir up. Larry with a big spoon, down with a little spoon. Here is good. See how it's just pure, almost like a mirror. And you know, I'm not gonna go for 100% getting the lid clean, that's pretty good right there. Because this is just uh, making the big bouillons, basically like little bouillon, but this is lead bouillons. And then I, when I melt it down again to actually make bullets, that's when uh, I'll do the final purification. Just the same way though. But here, it is. one thing's funny, you put this thing in here and you go to lift it up and you're used to ladling up some soup or something and it weighs almost nothing. You put it in here and you think you got a magnet in it because it's very heavy. When I'm picking this up, it's probably going to have about three, a good three pounds of lead in it. Like, Scooping it up, and I'm just going to pour it down into this little muffin pan. This is what I use. Fill it up. Go to the next one. Get another scoop there. Just keep doing it. I'll just get through this first muffin tin with y'all, and then I'll shut her down. Here is good. The people are crazy. Not, not rocket science, but I sure think it's cool as heck doing this. All I'm going to do is keep filling these up, these two muffin pans. And I'll bring it back real quick when I uh, get them out of there and show you that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, well, I'll let you go. All right, we're back. These have been sitting here cold about maybe five minutes. I'll just take it out and dump it over. I need something to help pry it up. There you go. That right there is probably around five or six pounds of bullet making lid. Do the same thing over to this one. Already ain't there. And then this one here is an actual ingot mold. Make some smaller ones. Sometimes you don't have to add as much as you want it. But anyway, that's it. I'm just going to kick these off to the side. I got another, put some more bullets in there, melt them down. And I'm just going to keep doing this the uh, rest of the afternoon until all the, I don't know if you can see them, how many bullets is in there, but that's how many I got left to melt down and turn into lead. I just wanted to share with y'all. Bye. Well, there you go. The final tally. I had them all made up. I had them in that bucket a second ago. Weighed them. I just wanted to show you. 83 pounds. So, about of 127 pounds, I got 83. Oh, what's that? 50 pounds of waste junk. But that cost me a total of zero right there. A couple hours worth of work. Pretty good. I'll make thousands and thousands of bullets out of that. Peace out.